good old K Beckin sound and PVC again. You can't go wrong, right? People, it's your boy Brass Tux in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Now, I know I'm a bit late with this, but I only just got a chance to watch it. And I thought I'd do a review on it because a lot of people haven't seen this bitch yet. Kate Beckinsale, good lord, she ain't aged a day. She looks beautiful. Like PVC doing a thing. She A1 in this bitch. I'm so upset I didn't make her in my top 10. Your boy fucked up in this bitch. I apologize. Now, I saw this movie and. I didn't have very high expectations of it, I keep it real with you. I didn't like the last one, although the 3D was very good in it. What was the last one? Was it Underworld Awakening? I don't know why I'm asking you a question like you can answer this shit. But in any case, it was all right. I, I just thought it was unnecessary. Just like this movie is unnecessary. See, I think they're trying too hard to kind of recapture the essence of, of, of Underworld. I think the first one was great. I even liked the, the, one, the one where they did the prequel. Underworld 2 and Underworld Awakening were both shitty movies. This one is better than Awakening, okay? It's got some of the elements which I liked about the first movie. But the movie's pointless in this bitch. Celine has hidden her daughter in this bitch. She doesn't even know where she is. She hidden her because, you know, her blood is the answer to ending the war or what have you. And she's been excommunicated from the vampires. That's because obviously she killed Victor. Everyone's still pissed about that bullshit, so she excommunicated in this bitch. She Lone Ranger, along with that dude from Allegion, you know which one, him. I don't know his name, D Allegion dude. She saved his life in the last one. And the werewolves hunting her down as well because they believe that she knows where her daughter is and stuff. So they're gonna hunt her down, find the daughter, get the blood and do whatever the fuck it is they need to do, shit. Charles Dance is amazing in everything he does. From Game of Thrones to this. He's amazing in this, he's looking a bit older like though, a little bit more tired. But he's amazing in this. Vampires deciding basically we'll get Celine back in the fold because we need her to train our vampires so when the lie can come for us, we know what the fuck to do because we're not quite ready for this bitch. She comes back, it's a setup. Shit hits the fan. The movie really gets going from that point. It absolutely felt like Underworld. It was much better than Awakening. There are good action sequences in there. It's vicious. The villain of this movie, the, that Lycan guy who is kind of, well, I'm not going to say anything about it, but yes. This movie, once again, is unnecessary. It seems purely like a cash cow. They don't know what else to really talk about, so they're just driving. They're just continuing on. Do you remember, like, do you remember, like, Terminator 2, right? After Terminator 2, we expected the next Terminator movie to be Judgment Day onwards in this bitch. Terminator 3 came and they just kind of picked up from where the fuck they left off. That shit was disappointing as a motherfucker. This is how this movie feels. It's not as disappointing. Uh, Kate Beckinsale is playing a part well. She's older. She's tired of running. She's tired of fighting. You can just tell. Shit happens in this movie. Now, I'm telling you right now, there's definitely going to be another one of these movies. Definitely. And I hope they close the book on that bitch because I don't know how much more they can do. Action's great. Some of the characters do really stand out. They do. Uh, especially the villain. Really stand out. There are some good performances. It's a little funny in parts. And it's vicious. It is vicious. The special effects were okay. But I know when that comes to 4K, some of that shit can look suspect as hell. Yeah, I'm sure some of you will actually probably enjoy the movie. But you're going to say the whole time you're watching this movie, you're going to say to yourself... This is unnecessary like a motherfucker. Why am I watching this shit? Why did you make this movie like... Why? This whole movie is about getting from point A to point B. And in that time, how do I say this without giving so much away? Towards the end of the movie, she's got a few new tools, which are a little interesting to me. I think that could add uh, a lot more to the next movie. Uh, so I will watch the next movie. I am interested enough to watch the next movie, but I hope that's the last movie. I think there's one too many. It's not as bad to me as the Resident Evil movies. It's worth the watch. It's definitely better than the last one. I, I, I guess you should see it if you're an Underworld fan. You probably already have seen it or you're gonna see it anyway. Kate Beckinsale, always A1. I can't think of a movie where she hasn't acted her arse off. Irrespective of whether the movie she's acting her arse off in is good or not. Got elements of some decent shit there, but it will never beat the first movie in my opinion. I love the first movie. Nothing's come close. Nothing's come close. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, 
it's one of the better ones. So watch it guys if you want. It's Kate Beckinsale anyway. Hey, how are you going to not watch Kate Beckinsale? Anyway guys, look. Hope you like this review. Tell me what your thoughts on the movie, if you watched it or not. I only got a chance to watch it recently, so for those of you who haven't or you were on the fence about it, now you know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like the review. Tell me what you guys thought. Leave comments. Subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.